So we just got breaking news. Rich homie Quan has passed away, and it was from an overdose. Sad to hear, man. This man right here, he responsible for a whole era, man. Before, you know, I even got on the Young Thug wave, it was Rich Homie Quan. You feel me? 2012, around that era. That's when I caught wind of Rich Homie, man. But I just want to say, rest in peace. And this is, you know, real odd timing, right? As the, you know, YSL, the Woody trial and the, the Thug trial, it's all going on. You know, I hate to even be reporting on this, but... I would say, you know, it's, it's pretty odd, the timing, but I'm convinced that Rich Homie was stressing, man. You know what I mean? He was like, the nigga who shot my dad barbershop up, allegedly, and shot my dad. He out here, you know, living his best life. I'm fucked up. Everybody, you know, saying free thug. I'm kind of forgotten out here. I mean, that's no excuse to just, you know, turn to the drugs, but you can't tell nobody how to you know be depressed or shake out of it you know everybody got to go through them phases man but damn it's it's sad to see he's not gonna make it out of this one man i just want to you know play this last interview that i seen of him and you know i just wonder why that lady was asking him these questions and you could probably see that he wasn't in the best place spiritually what do you feel about his statements being said about him basically shooting up your dad's barbershop uh, what is the life <laughs> the bump shot did get shot up, but it, it wasn't like, I don't want to talk much to it, but it wasn't like, he is over exaggerated it because the same day the bump shot got shot up, it was back, it was up and running. <laughs> so it couldn't have been like what he said it was. So we're going to hold that down. Shout out to Woody. <laughs> but niggas know. Okay, yeah, absolutely. See, as you can see, you know, Rich Homie, he's not even looking like himself in that interview. You know, typically he wouldn't even let, you know, an interview, let alone somebody like this press him about a situation so serious like this but he, he's, he's clearly you know off the drugs you can tell he's very high right now just in another world so i guess that's just how he was trying to cope with the situation but i'm gonna use this time to tell y'all drugs is never the answer you know what i'm saying but when y'all out here using them for recreation how you gonna tell somebody you know to stop using them when the shit goes bad and hit the fan of course they're gonna double down on what they think makes them feel good but that's crazy man let me go ahead and play this clip from uh woody and thug because you know they clearly was just laughing about the situation so did you have an issue so what, with rich homie i'm asking you for what you told the police and i'm and i'm answering you i just told you several times i tell the police anything okay. like i said it's from an overdose and what they're hearing it was a bad pill and with me hearing this my mind instantly goes to fentanyl don't y'all know everything got a drop of fentanyl in it they they even found it in the weed so trust me i don't know why y'all just you know steady popping pills even the rappers with the biggest bag they got the quote unquote plugs the best plugs they getting laced they taking fentanyl so you boys think y'all gonna last out here you know popping perks whatever's the new pill out now you know i'm i'm out the loop but yeah that just goes to show y'all, y'all need to watch out. Stay away from these drugs. I'm not going to drag this out, man. Just want to say rest in peace, rich homie. But I would be, you know, feeling weird if I didn't come on here and say, I got a feeling this has to do with the trial, everything being publicized, people looking at him, ostracizing him. Are you going to spend the block? You're going to get back. What are you going to do? Like, I don't know. You know, everybody in Atlanta down there, they on thug side. Well, at least publicly. Anybody that's fucking with him, they would have had to do that behind closed doors. Because that's how, you know, weirdos act nowadays in the celebrity gang. Y'all celebrities and y'all street niggas. It's got to be, you know, a tricky ass, you know, place to be in. But rest in peace, rich homie, man. The homie definitely, definitely left us with some bangers. But Saudi had to end like this. Nobody... I mean, nobody was expecting this one. But all right, y'all. See y'all in the next one. Damn.